Hi there, Gemini. So I'm going to be doing your reading right now, and I'd like to make a note that I do offer personal readings. So if you're interested, please check out the description box below. If you do plan on subscribing, please make sure to hit the notification button. That way you'll get notified whenever I post my videos. And if this reading resonates, please make sure to hit the like button. So I'm going to be doing past, present, and future, and I'm going to be pulling out oracle cards at the end. Okay, Gemini? So let's get started. Can I get the past energy for Gemini, please? Gemini. Gemini. So it could be the most recent past, or you could even be going through it now. Okay. So Gemini. 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 Okay, one more. Gemini. All right. So, the past energy for Gemini, please. The Knight of Wands in reverse. The Knight of Pentacles in reverse. With the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. What was it? The present energy for Gemini. The Five of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands in reverse. The King of Wands, though. And the f future energy. It's the Ten of Swords in reverse. The Emperor. With the hangman in reverse. And the overall energy of the reading. The king of cups in reverse. I feel like this is someone that's wanting to express how they feel. Okay. When I clarify, I'll gain more insight. Definitely talking about one's feelings, but... With the Knight of Wands in reverse, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, and the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, I really don't see someone rushing in passionately. And I see kind of like a lack of stability with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse and the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. I also don't see someone really moving forward towards stability. So when I clarify, I'll gain more insight. So... You may have pulled your energy back, but there is someone that it does have a lot of passion towards you. Even though I may see like a, a, even though I see like a lack of expression. So with the 5 of pentacles, someone could be feeling like they've been left out in the cold or there could even be like a fear of rejection. Okay? And I feel like there is someone that has unresolved feelings towards you of an unresolved pain. But they may seem like they're just fine with the emperor. Okay? Like but I feel like this person is in pain because there's like a lack of clarity with the hangman in reverse. So let me clarify before I say anything. Let me clarify this king of cups in reverse. King of cups in reverse. The king of cups in reverse. King of Cups in reverse for Gemini, please. You'll be dealing with a water sign, a fire sign, Aries, Pisces. The King of Cups in reverse for Gemini, please. The King of Cups in reverse for Gemini. Okay. The Eight of Cups. Hermit with the Four of Pentacles and Death in Reverse. I feel like this person is doing some deep introspective thinking and self-reflection. Um, there could be a distance between you and this person. Doesn't necessarily have to be. It's possible that someone may have walked away. 
but I feel like this person is feeling dissatisfied and is wanting to express how they feel. So this is someone that could have been keeping their feelings to themselves. Because I don't see an ending with death in reverse. You could be dealing with a Virgo or a Scorpio. Someone could be protective over their heart space, so it could be you. I feel like this person's done some deep introspective thinking though, and this connection is very near and dear to their heart. So I don't see an ending with death in reverse. So let me clarify the Knight of Wands in reverse. The Ten of Wands. Justice in reverse. So I feel like if things were not made right, it, it could have stressed someone out or there could have been like a sense of heaviness because look at that. It's like the Knight of Wands. So this person did have a lot of passion towards you. They did want to rush in passionately, but something did not pan out. Things were not made right. And there was a sense of heaviness with the Ten of Wands. Now I see someone having regrets with the Knight of Swords, okay, uh, for not taking action possibly. I feel like this person's thinking about you quite a bit, okay? So there was that potential for a brand new beginning in love. And I don't see an ending though with the world in reverse. So this connection could be keeping someone up at night. They could be anxious, worried. There could even be regret. So let me clarify the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. There you go, the King of Wands twice. So this is someone that has a lot of passion towards you, but they were not expressing it with the Ace of Wands in reverse. That's why I don't see um, a passionate new beginning. And with the Eight of Pentacles, I do feel like this person is thinking about you. There is heavy contemplation with the Hermit and the Eight of Pentacles. So it's at the Eight of Pentacles, but not at the Ten of Pentacles. So this person invested their time and energy. It wasn't towards stability. Where the both of you are together in the 3D or... So let me clarify the Five of Pentacles. The Empress in reverse. Someone does have insecure... Wow, that's like a... The Five of Pentacles twice with the Empress in reverse. Let me get another card. The Devil in reverse. So you may have pulled your energy back because you did not want to be stuck in some sort of unhealthy cycle. You could have felt like you were left out in the cold and the situation did bring out insecurities or uncertainty within you. But also I feel like this person could have been dealing with insecurities and there could have been like a fear of rejection. So let me clarify the Queen of Wands in reverse. Temperance. So you could have gone through the healing process. You could have been patient as well. Trying to remain balanced. This situation could have caused you a lot of confusion. And if this is someone that's wanting a reconciliation, wanting to pick up the pieces and rebuild, they're confused about how to go about doing that. Okay? So I kind of see you going through the healing process, trying to remain balanced. Possibly even patient. But let me clarify the King of Wands. Yeah, the Two of Wands. So this is someone that's having to make a choice. The Queen of Swords. With the Two of Swords in reverse. I feel like this person does have clarity regarding their feelings. So if you're showing up as the Queen of Swords, you're trying to be logical, practical. This could even be you wanting the truth. It's possible that you may even have clarity. But I also feel like this person does have clarity regarding their feelings and they're, have, they're having to make that choice with the Two of Wands. So let me clarify the Ten of Swords in reverse. Strength in reverse. The Five of Swords. So if this person, the Seven of Swords. Wow, look at that. Like if this is someone that's in pain um, or having that does have unresolved pain, 
it could be creating conflict with the five of swords so it could stem from fear okay but i also feel like this is person's not being quite honest about their feelings and if they are in pain they're not expressing it okay so with the emperor this is someone that could be hiding it so let me clarify the emperor yeah like the knight they're not expressing their pain or even though i do see like the potential for stability Yeah, like I don't really see them taking action towards expressing how they feel with the Knight of Cups and with the Knight of Swords. So this is someone that's not being quite honest about their feelings. So let me clarify the Hangman in reverse. Oh boy, this person's lacking clarity and they're having to listen to their intuition by getting out of their headspace. That's why the Magician is showing up in reverse. So it's difficult manifesting this connection into the 3d even though this is someone that's wanting there to be positive changes okay so the wheel of fortune talks about like a fated encounter um, even time like having to move forward away from conflict but there could very well be pain with the three of swords pain between the both of you this person could be in pain and if they're having to move forward um, it, it's hard. Um, they could be feeling heartbroken. Um, but it's like someone having to get out of their headspace and listen to their intuition. And there has to be a sense of honesty. So let me get um, further insight from the intimate tarot. Further insight from the intimate tarot for Gemini. Gemini. The world. There could be a distance between you and this person. Doesn't necessarily have to be. But um, this is really talking about an end to a cycle. Because with the Two of Swords, someone could be protective over their heart space or there could be issues with trust. So you are dealing with a very special connection with the lovers. And the Six of Wands, it's talking about a potential reconciliation. Because I see someone wanting to express how they feel, but being possibly frustrated, maybe confused on how. But let's see. The Star. I feel like there is desire. A desire to balance things out, a desire to heal things. I see someone wanting to take action as well. Wanting there to be balance where there's like an equal give and take in energy. But with the Page of Pentacles, someone could even be cautious. Especially regarding expression. So let me get messages from the Oracle deck. For Gemini, please. Gemini. Okay, so card number 50, which is five. Consider your foundation. Look at how committed you are to love. So there has to be changes. Okay. And um, card number 31, wait, what is this? 31, which is four. Love makes a difference. Love helps heal past hurts and provides a sense of security. Okay. And card number 27. Spiritual connection, a relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime. Okay. And let me get a 
Romance Angel deck for Gemini, please. Gemini. Gemini. Okay, so it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. And flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. So, so some of you, or even many of you, could be very lighthearted, playful even. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Okay? And let me get messages from this new deck I got. And these two cards wanted to come out. So card number 37, which is 10. A message is trying to reach you. Be vigilant. The spirit world wishes to find and touch you. Okay? So card number 38, which is 11. So this is 10, 11. A light filled angel is at your side. It watches over you at very at every dark doorway. Let me try that again. <laughs> a light filled angel is at your side. It watches over you at every dark doorway. Okay? So there is good energy surrounding you. Which I like. It just seems like two messages regarding that. Okay? So that's my reading for you, Gemini, and I'll see you next time. Take care.